Welcome back. In today's video, we are spreading a bit of slurry. So, I've been going since 11 o'clock with O'Byrne's splash plate tanker and uh, the trailing shoe's been spreading slurry back here around the yard. So, we've shifted a fair bit now say we only did half day because we were up at six o'clock this morning doing baby leaf salad so we finished that up about 10 o'clock and then the agitator came in about 11 o'clock but yeah it's been busy today so we're spreading at about two and a half three thousand gallon to the acre so a good dose of slurry hopefully get second cup growing on but I was on the long draw that's why it's taken me so long I've only put out about put seven out and there's one there that's eight so this is my ninth load I haven't done I haven't done a crazy amount like I'd say the trailing shoe has done more loads than I have and it's only been going about three hours so that is the current story this is my first time ever spreading slurry so it's been a bit of an experience but um yeah so the two tankers are all burned as I said I'm driving our case maximum 150 and the O'Byrne's Case Puma 150 is on the Jostin Trail and Shoe. So, just to clear that one up, we have not bought a slurry tanker. And the reason we're splash plating, usually we'd inject or trail and shoe at all, but we just want to get it done. We've our first cut cut about three weeks now, so. There's a good regrowth there and we just want to get the slurry out before it's too late. We've got a nice window here. There's a light bit of rain coming so it'll all get washed in nicely. And the second cut will start growing. But if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. At the minute I'm still doing a video a week so hopefully everyone is enjoying that. But if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. But other than that, I'd say we'll go on to the drone footage and the GoPro footage. I didn't put the drone up when the trail and shoe was here because I've just been on the splash plate tanker all day and by the time I was finished, with the long draw, he was finished with the trail and shoe in the other field, so it just didn't really work out. But we're working here side by side at the minute just to get this last bit out. So yeah. And the tank was agitated by O'Byrne's 6-9. John Deere 6.9 but hopefully you'll see Seamus going by there behind me with the trail and shoe maybe it's a bit far away for the camera maybe not I'd say that's enough talking from me today so if you've enjoyed it don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one
Make me